my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we will talk about a latest machine regarding the IABP. The one uh, we made a video before, it was regarding the IABP machine as well, but it was the old version. So now we have the new version uh, from the MacWet, and the name is CardioSave. In this video, we will explain uh, how to operate this machine. So for just your reference, I would like to show you the uh, old version of this uh, machine as well, which is the Datascope when the model is CS300. So this is just for your reference, just to know what is the difference between this old version and the new version. So this is the latest version now, which we have by the name of CardioSafe Hybrid. Why it, it is called hybrid? There are certain features which are different from the old version. So we, in this video, we will explain the uh, latest features of this machine. So first of all, let's start with the beginning. As you know, this is all the pressure monitoring. This is a pressure dome, hepronized saline uh, with the pressurized bay. This is the uh, invasive pressure tubing. This is the ECG cables, right? And here, as we can see, one is for the ECG port, then the one is for the pressure. So as you know, in the IABP, there are uh, certain features, uh, modes. Uh, if you want to uh, trigger uh, this one by ECG, so there's an option for the ECG. If you want this machine to be triggered by the invasive pressure, it has the invasive pressure as well. So let's, first of all, let's see how to start this machine. Here's the power on button, right? So before the power on, I would like to show you that there are, it is battery operated as well. There are two kinds of battery. So later on, I will show you how to do it. So the new thing is there's a cable. It does not hang outside. It goes all the way inside in the roller. So you can just pull this cable out and you can plug it in. All right, now if you can see here, there's a power button. Okay. So now it's turning on. Once you see, when it turns on, it will show you on the display here. So the first difference, it is digital screen now. In the old version, it's manual buttons, but here it's a touch screen, if you can see. Yeah. So it's turning on now. So before it turns on, while it's turning on, I will show you some of the features. There are two batteries. If you can see here, there are two batteries, right? It's up to you which one you want to uh, use the battery or it is automatically switched to the other battery. There are two batteries. If you can see, there's one lithium battery and here is a second battery. So if you switch this probe or this knob to any other side, that means that battery will be operated and the second one will not be operated. But if you keep it in this way, that means if this battery drains, so it will automatically switch to the other battery. So the battery is charging. Another feature for this machine is why it is called hybrid, because of this tower. So this tower can be deassembled from the trolley itself. So this is used for the ambulatory purpose, like if you are transferring patient via ambulance to the other facility, so you can just pull this out, so which is easily mobile. All right, now let's come back again here. If you can see, this is a screen, right? This is as, uh, same as before, the old version, but here the touch panel is different than the old version. So this is another feature. Same functions, but with the different feature, like it's touch panel. So if you can see, here's the auto option, right? And you can use this semi-auto uh, option as well. Triggers, as I just mentioned earlier, you can get it triggered by ECG, you can get it triggered by pressure, or whatever the options you want to avail. All the options are here, all right? And if you can see the source, ECG source or direct source, so as we mentioned earlier in this video, there, there are different sources, so for now we are using the ECG and the pressure so that it can automatically switch to that. All right, now if you can see here, as the ratio was as in the before machine, one is to one, one is to two, one is to three, right? So one is to one means that uh, with 
each QR is complex. One is to two is give up second. Pressure. Right. So and same here is an augmentation. Right. You can go with the maximum augmentation when the balloon is connected. And timing as well. Deflate and inflation timing. All right. Now, if you can see here, uh, there's open menus. You can see everything like this and preferences. IBP fill. So if you look at here, so same like the other machine, uh, you do need to just keep it pressed for two seconds, hold, for so it will keep the IBP, the balloon itself. Oh, okay, there's an alarm option if you can see. I mean, all right. So now, as you know, this is same as the previous version, but there are certain features which are different uh, from the previous yeah, or the old version. So I will show you the, what are the features. Let's suppose. Okay, if you want to keep the settings logged, so you have to hold this button for two seconds. Okay. So if you can see what is the difference here, if you can see in the uh, in the lower portion. See, there are two clips, locks, so the, you, this can, uh, you can disconnect this uh, screen from the machine itself, see. Alright, one option. Then second option you have, you will see the click sound once you are connecting it again. And the other options which you have is... If you want to disconnect this, you have to first unlock this. See, there is lock and unlock option. So first, you have to pull this uh, click, and after that, you can remove this. Look at here. You use this as a mobile. So for that, what you need to do, you need to just disconnect this monitor as well. And if you want to get this monitor connected to this tower here, you have to press this, it will come out. Then you can similarly... Same. Same as this. Now see, this machine is working now with the monitor. So you have disconnected it from the trolley, the tower itself, if you can see here. Right. And there is another good option. Now if you want to mobilize this, if you can see it here, see there is a handle which can be used as a trolley. Now if you see, you can discontinue this and you can shift the patient with it. With the option oh. all right so now let's connect it again so meanwhile so make sure while you are uh, disconnecting and connecting this portion with this trolley make sure you have to lock this first to avoid any fall all right let's connect it again See, it's connected again. And if you want to connect this again, so now first just pull this uh, handle inside, right? And then what you need to do, you need to just press this. So what you need to do, you need to just press this. All right, so now once again, now you can see, you can pull this trolley back. You will notice a click sound. Okay. Ah, right. So when you disconnect, let me show you. When you disconnect, you will see the option here that it's on rescue mode. Rescue mode that you are shifting the patient with this control panel only. Right, so once you just uh, in, insert it again, you will show here hybrid option. That means that now this portion is installed on the trolley now. Yeah. See? Alright, the procedure is same as you are connecting it the same for the patient as before. 
like you can connect the ECG cables all right and you can connect the pressure cable as well you can connect this pressure cable as well just look at here it's slightly a bit different before it's coming in this way now it has been modified with a new connector which is compatible to this machine all right so the process the preparation procedure is same as the old version but there are slight difference which i just showed you all right one thing more yeah one thing more which is very interesting feature that the, before the helium tank is just outside of the trolley but now here what they have done that they have put the helium tank here if you can see this is the helium tank here all right and there is one helium tank inside why because if you disconnect uh, this this portion from this trolley it has a helium gas cylinder inside now the question yeah. is that what if we utilize that and it's consumed and how we can refill it so the inside which is which is mounted in the trolley that helium gas once you connect this portion to this trolley again and you put this inside so that tank will be refilled by this tank automatically yeah, so what you need to do you just need to replace this tank which is external so it has two tanks and it can give you the backup of 90 minutes around all right and the rest of the procedure the preparation procedure is same uh, same as the old version right there were the slight differences which I just showed explained in this video and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, Please don't forget to subscribe like and share. Thank you so much for watching